Hello, uh, this is a demo about uh, ZOS, uh, db 2 ZOS uh, to SQL Server conversion using tools provided by Aspire Systems. So uh, Aspire Systems provide a SQL ways tool uh, that makes a conversion from database of data and definitions into SQL Server database and also uh, uh, makes a conversion of scripts uh, from so the conversion for, of SQL statements from files. So uh, first tool that I would like to show you is SQL Ways Wizard that you can see on your screen. Uh, so when you start it, you see the welcome to the SQL Ways Wizard page. And uh, so at, here on this page, uh, you can specify a project directory for your current uh, project that you are uh, going to do using SQL Ways Wizard. Uh, this uh, folder of this project will contain information uh, stored in special for format for uh, identifier names, mappings, data type uh, mappings, uh, objects selected for a conversion, and so on and so forth. All the options that you specify in SQL, SQL Ways Wizard will be stored here in this project directory. So I've got one project stored here. I, I'm using it in this uh, demo. Uh, to connect to DB2 database, uh, to mainframe database uh, like Zetos, uh, we, uh, our tool needs ODBC connection. So uh, you should install the ODBC uh, client that have appropriate license to connect to uh, Zetos, uh, db 2 Zetos uh, database. Uh, and uh, so we are using db 2 connect here for this connection. You need to specify in addition to ODBC DSN, uh, you need to specify your username and the password uh, with the appropriate rights to do the export of uh, data and definitions from system tables, uh, from tables themselves, uh, from DB2 uh, OS 390 database. Let's click Next. Uh, on the Choose the Target Database page, as we are doing conversion to a SQL Server database, so we specify target as Microsoft SQL Server, the version which you can select from the list of the versions supported, the server name, in the network, the database name, which you will be using as a target database, the username and a password that has appropriate rights for doing the load into SQL Server uh, database. On the advanced page, you can specify the bin directory where the native tools for doing the load in SQL Server database reside. These native tools are SQL CMD, and uh, BCP for SQL Server 2005, 2008, and 2012. For earlier versions, uh, instead of SQL CMD, uh, our tool uses iSQL 2. Let's click Next, and uh, as I'm using the project directory, you can see the objects are already selected for me for this conversion. To select uh, the object, you can just drag and drop from right, left to right pane the uh, database object type or schema name or some specific object uh, from the database. Okay, so I'm going to show you tables for use stored procedures and triggers conversion uh, from DB2 mainframe database uh, on ZOS to SQL Server. On the specified DL and data options page, there are lots of uh, different options that can be used for uh, this database uh, direction, migration direction, uh, like omit schema names in SQL scripts for uh, changing the schema name conversion from DB2 to SQL Server database, uh, like reserved words uh, replacement option, uh, which uh, for automa automatically uh, as a default to the conversion of reserved words um, is maintained in uh, SQL Ways tool. 
So for SQL Server database, uh, all the reserved words are uh, enclosed in square brackets. If when you click tables uh, node in left pane, you can see the global data type mapping that can be changed. Uh, there is also local data type mapping uh, in our tool that uh, helps you specify the data type conversion for a specific column in a specific table. Uh, there are also two options that helps you in uh, maintaining the conversion with data or without data or with definition or without definition. So on data options uh, tab you can uncheck export data. In this case only definitions are converted from uh, DB2 to SQL Server database. On DDL options page when you choose SQL scripts you can uncheck generate DDL. In this case only data is converted from uh, source to target database. Okay, so uh, lots of options actually in our tool. So uh, if you need some specific feature, we can add it to our tool. Or uh, if we have it, we can specify, we can provide information where to find this option in SQL ways. On specify export file options page, uh, you need to provide the export directory for the conversion process because our tool generates a set of files, a set of scripts, batch scripts, SQL scripts. Uh, data files that contains common uh, contain comments uh, for SQL Server database, uh, and uh, there is option run and trace mode that I would like to point out here uh, that generates a trace file, uh, which helps in investigating issues that you might have on the export at your site. Or uh, also it adds information about the source code uh, into each SQL file uh, generated for each object in the migration process. Let's click next. On specify embedded options page uh, for SQL Server as a target database, um, we are using the first option when the client, SQL Server client, is installed on your current computer and uh, you are using native tools uh, like SQL CMD and uh, BCP to load the definitions and data accordingly uh, into SQL Server database. On our user selections page, you can see some information about the uh, export process that you are going to perform. And when you click next, the export starts. So you can see that we are connecting to uh, 9.1 database uh, here. So we are extracting the three tables, one views, two stored procedures, and one trigger from this database. Five rows of data are exported as well. And each object is ex extracted one by one from DB2 uh, ZOS database automatically. So you don't have to provide scripts extract them yourself from a DB2 database. So it is done automatically by our tool. Okay, we have an export. We can go to a view export page, can review the exported objects. You can see uh, SQL files generated for its commented source of a stored procedure. It's equivalent in SQL Server database. You can see exit handler has been converted into a begin uh, try catch block in the SQL Server database, uh, some, some conversion of a result set processing when a result set returned from the stored procedure when there is declared a cursor in DB2, open the cursor and it is converted into a simple select statement in SQL Server database. Uh, there is information about some identity generated always as identity in the SOAR database, which has been converted into identity, simple identity in SQL Server database with all the start and the seed uh, options provided from the source. Here is just some information about the defaults conversion for tables. Uh, also, let me show you a trigger conversion. This is for each row trigger that has been converted into for each statement trigger 
in uh, SQL Server database and uh, uh, new as an reference has been uh, substituted with an inserted reference, inserted table reference in uh, SQL Server database. And as for views conversion, you can see a simple view conversion from source to target. Uh, from db 2 zos to SQL Server 2012. Also for expert process, there is SQL Ways log with uh, the information about the more complete information about the objects extracted from the source database, like how many primary case, foreign case, and etc. were extracted. So all the total information for each object type extracted from the source database number of rows of data for number of tables, number of bytes of data for extracted from uh, tables, line, number of lines of code for use stored procedures triggers, and the overall statistics for the whole database conversion. Uh, now let's see the import process uh, using SQL Waste Wizard. Let's start import button. Okay, so uh, you can see it's quite fast, much faster than uh, export process because all we do is just initiate the import into SQL Server database using native tools and this is always the fastest uh, import into um, target database. So uh, we can see the SQL Waste IMP.log file for this import process. It's quite uh, small with all the appropriate information. Uh, so for tables loading, uh, there are generated format files for each table, you can see. And if there were any errors, so uh, you would see the, uh, that error file is not zero in size. But as uh, there, are, there are no errors uh, in loading, so all the error files are empty. So uh, this is all information about the import process, uh, conversion process using the connection to the mainframe database. Now let me show you uh, tools that work with DB2 mainframe uh, syntax uh, in scripts. So first tool that I would like to show you is SQL Way Studio. You can see it on your screen. It's quite simple in uh, in use. It's uh, it has intuitive interface. Uh, the left pane is, is for, the, for a source that you would like to convert. Uh, source uh, you need to choose as IBM DB2 from the list of sources. Target as Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, so you specify the source. Source target. Click run. And at the bottom of this uh, uh, Tool, you can see the SQL Waste log file with a command that is used for a SQL Waste Exact tool. That, that is actually a core tool for all our graphical tools and it is used for a database conversion or for scripts conversion, no matter. Just uh, some specific options are used for this or that case. So, and uh, here you can see the source and its equivalent in one window and compare the results for scripts conversion. So you can see it's quite simple. And as for SQL Waste Commander, so we have a, a tool, SQL Waste Commander, that works with scripts as well, with syntax, DB2, uh, ZOS syntax, but um, it can work with multiple scripts. So you select the source, SQL file that you would like to convert, uh, specify the source in the tool like IBM, uh, target as SQL Server, and just click Run. So in this case, all the SQL files from left will be converted into the right pane panel here. So and uh, you can specify files or you can choose one folder for a conversion. Click Run. And specify SQL files for conversion. You can see a file mask is specified here. So uh, it's quite simple as well. 
uh, you receive the log file for the conversion process here, the same as in SQL Way Studio. It shows you the files converted and uh, whether there are any ex parser issues or no. So uh, this is all information I have for you regarding the graphical tools that our company Aspire Systems provides for database and scripts conversion from db to the toast to sql server database uh, thank you very much for your attention bye